again, this legislation that we're passing now so addresses uh, the needs of the American people when it comes uh, to the coronavirus. It's about the lives and the livelihood of the American people. We're proud, again, of our committee chairs who are moving ahead expeditiously with nine committees working on marking up legislation for the American Rescue Plan this week. They're, they're moving forward to crush the virus. The funding there for, uh, for virus production, distribution, for testing, et cetera, uh, for other funding in terms of uh, access to health care. Uh, again, the goal is to put vaccines in people's arms, children back in school, workers back in their jobs, and money in people's pockets. And the money in people's pockets, we're very proud that in the legislation, uh, we in the House, uh, the Education and Labor Committee marked up its bill on Tuesday until 4 a.m. Wednesday morning. Big part of money in people's pockets in the Education and Labor Committee, in addition to making our schools safe for our children to go back to school. Uh, they've, uh, in the bill, uh, it gradually raises the minimum wage to $15 an hour, increases paychecks, in doing so, increases paychecks for 27 million workers and pulling nearly a million people out of poverty. Well over 50%, closer to two-thirds or 70% of people making the minimum wage are women, many of them women of color. Again, it secures the child tax credits, helping nearly one in three adults having trouble paying for household expenses and 12 million children from going hungry. So in the legislation, we have the child tax credit this is quite remarkable, $3,000 for a child, uh, ch a child and then six, uh, they're six years and under, it is uh, $3,600. This is pulling these children out of poverty. The bill also addresses those who are food insecure, rental rent insecure, and the rest. So it's a very important piece of legislation. It is what this country needs, and I salute uh, not only the president and vice president for their leadership in recognizing that in this important work, uh, but also to do so in a way that is robust, meets the needs of the American people, but also meets the needs of, of uh, the strength of our economy. We plan, as I said, to work on it this week, next week, uh, and have it passed uh, uh, by the end of February, and uh, so we can send it to the president's desk before the unemployment benefits expire. 